Hi, my name is Linda, and I love to paper craft, art journal, and design printables. Here's a journal with me process video using a printable paper that I posted on my blog. It's a Gingham Hearts design, and you can download it for free if you want to use it in your projects. So let me get right into it. I decided to journal a page today to hold all of these drawings that my kids always bring home from school. There are always so many and um, it's hard to throw them away so it's something that I try to whittle down as much as possible and then keep a bunch. Um, so I cut up this craft envelope and I decided that I would attach it to this page so that it could hold a bunch of these drawings all on one page all together. So I'm starting with my printable paper and I'm just going to trim it down to size and use it as the background for my entire page since my journal page is a white uh, blank slate to begin with. So I'm just trimming the papers. I print this pattern paper on my regular home printer and so it makes the white borders all around even though I'm printing the pattern paper full size um, just because I'm not printing borderless and that just all depends on your printer set settings and what you can do with your printer but you can definitely download this printable shape, uh, paper. I have included the link in my description below. It's posted on my blog and you can download it for free. That way you can use it for your projects as well. So I decided to trim it down a little bit smaller than my page and then include the envelope with all of the drawings on top. And since the envelope and drawings take up a big part of this page, there isn't really a lot of room to include a lot of other little bits and pieces, but I thought maybe on the front of the envelope I could add just bits and pieces of papers. A lot of them are just scraps from my stash just to make it a little more interesting and obviously just because I like to journal and use a lot of bits and pieces of ephemera and materials that I have to make it sort of look cuter. So right now I'm just going to glue everything onto the page and it's pretty simple. Not very much complication in terms of like the design of this page. It's just a background paper with the craft envelope that I'm going to paste in front and I decided to put it all the way to the edge in the corner because that sort of strengthens this page basically in the journal so when you're flipping the pages you sort of have that thicker corner to hold on to. And I decided to add a little bit of an embellishment on the front. This is a like tab shape that I cut out um, with the die cut machine and I cut pieces of leather with it so it just sort of makes it have a different texture. So I'm just gonna glue this little tab and I chose pink because it matches with the background paper so again it's sort of easy to make things look like they go together if they just sort of all have the same color scheme. At least that's the easy way for me to do it. And then I just grabbed a bunch of scrap like pieces of paper from my stash and they're basically just all in similar color theme um, which is also a color theme that I like. All the pinks and purples basically that whole family of colors is very pretty to me and I also like vintage so I like to use book pages even though my pages are not always like fully vintage looking, really just with like bits and pieces of vintage. So I'm layering a bunch of these little strips of paper together to create sort of like an embellishment cluster and sealing it all in with that little tab just to add some interest. And I really like to use tiny little hearts 
So I have a punch, a heart punch, and I pretty much punch anything and everything and add a lot of hearts to my work just because I like them. And I'm using a glue stick to glue all of this together. I feel like when it comes to journaling and using a lot of bits and pieces, glue sticks are like the most handy and useful thing. It's not a lot of mess and you can pretty much coat anything and put it all together. And finally, I'm just gonna add um, a couple of words to say that it's my kids' drawings. And basically, that is the page. It's really simple. This is my like memory keeping journal where I'm basically adding bits and pieces of memories. It's sort of like scrapbooking, but very much like journaling as well because there's not always pictures like in this case it's just drawings of my kids something that I want to keep so that is my page for today I hope you enjoyed watching this process and if you want to see more of my videos make sure you subscribe below and check out the links so you can hop on over to my blog if you want to download the free printable until next time